Hey, how's it going everyone? Today we're going to be talking about Viggle. I believe that's how it's pronounced. And it's a really cool AI tool that I discovered through a person who I follow on Twitter. Uh, this person goes by AI Warper. And this is what AI Warper was able to create using Viggle. And I thought it looked really, really cool. Obviously it's not perfect, but once you see how easy it is to use, you, you'll be like, okay, this is really cool. But AI Warper did have a process. Uh, I believe they uh, removed the background, the rotoscope, and then added the image. But I think even if you don't do this process, I think you can get some really good results because I tested it already and it's super simple. Like, you know, there's this stereotype of how people who do AI just click a button and then everything is done for them. I think this is becoming a reality where really it's becoming so simple. You just drop an image and a video and it just animates it for you like you're seeing right here. It's not perfect, but it's very impressive for what it's doing because it's generating a lot of information that's not there because you could put an image of somebody's upper body and then it's gonna figure out the rest of the body somehow, like you see right here. And by the way, this is all totally free. It's still in beta on Discord. So you do have to have a Discord account to join it. So you just click on this button and then you join the server. Uh, so let's look at some stuff that I was able to generate. Uh, here are some stuff that a lot of people already generated. When you come into the server, uh, you come here to where it says animate. All these channels here allow you to generate whatever you want. So uh, you can just pick whichever one. Let's check out some examples of some of the stuff some people have created. So for example, there's this woman who's dancing. This person used an image, I don't know, maybe of themselves, I'm not sure. Um, but then they play it and it animates that image of that person. I mean, it looks pretty good. Uh, and it also removes the background, which is really cool. So you have a lot of examples here. Uh, some things work better than others. Some things like um, just don't look as clean. According to what AI Warper told me was that it's better to have full body images because then the AI tries to guess everything like the rest of the body. And the way the AI guesses the rest of the body is actually really impressive because this is just the upper body of this person, but yet it guessed that this person might be wearing some black pants and added some tennis shoes. It would have been really cool if it added some really nice formal sh black shoes. Here I fed a video of this 3D model that's running. And here I put an image of Kanye West in his college dropout days. And it did this, which has some jank to it, like especially the face right here. But it's still to me very impressive. What you can also do is put an image and not feed it a video, but put in a prompt. And in this case, I put this image of the statue and, and I just put, I put break dancing, but it didn't do break dancing. It did like ballet or something. As, as you can see, the bottom here doesn't look really good, but it's really impressive how it figured out the other side of the face. You see how like it filled in this information of the other side, because right here you only see one side of the face, but here you see both sides and then some of the top here it fills in that uh, missing information but then over here it just doesn't know what to do i think it would have done a way better job if i did an image of a full body statue so let's test out how this works it's very simple you come down here to where it says the message and you're going to put forward slash and then you're going to have a few options right here and it's going to say animate mix mix is where you put a video and an image and then it's going to animate that image based on what's happening in the video so this is a very popular one and it tells you here, drop video and drop image. So that's what we're going to do. Let's look for a video. I came to here to mid journey and just did a little search here of stuff people have generated. And I think something like this could work cause it's, it's full body. Okay. I'm going to try this one. This, I like this one a lot. So I'm going to save this image and then I have a video. So I'm going to put this in this image section. I'm going to put this video here. Uh, it might be difficult cause there is zooming in and zooming out. I just muted the music so I don't get copyright uh, claimed. So let's just test this out to see what happens. And then for background, you can choose green screen, which is really cool because then you can key out the background and add your own background or do whatever you want, or you can add a white background. So in this case, I'm just going to do a white background because I'm not going to use this for anything. So and right here says enhance character detail fidelity. Uh, adding approximately two minutes to the video processing time. You can add this like fine tune option to add some more details. I'm gonna go ahead and add it so that I can get like the best results I can get with this. Then after that, that's it. Just enter. 
and it's gonna take a few minutes. I'm not sure exactly how long. That's pretty much it. You drag an image, you drag a video, let it generate, that's it. And then we're gonna see what kind of video it spits out. So we're gonna go ahead and fast forward, see you in a bit. It finally finished and let's check it out. Okay. It's not too bad. Uh, there is quite a bit of jitter and the quality is not as nice as the actual image, but I think it's still doing a decent job with tracking it. And again, the quality will really depend on what kind of images you're feeding it and also the video itself. I don't think something like this, that it's this easy was possible even like five months ago or even three months, I'm not sure. Uh, but yeah, I think it's really, really good. And it's only going to improve and we all know that, right? Especially you guys who have been in the AI space for quite a bit, AI progresses so fast. So I think this is really cool. I can't wait for it to just keep getting better. I definitely want to come back to it in the future when it has really, really gotten even better than this. I think right now it's in a really, really good place. But, and the funny thing is that people would jump on this and say, man, that looks horrible. That looks, uh, that, that looks like trash. But the thing is, this is just the beginning, man. Like this is gonna get scary good. And I really believe that in a few months, maybe a year or so, we're gonna drop an image and a video. You're gonna see this quality in a video like this. So definitely check out Viggo, it's very cool. I think it's such a quick and fast way to get an image to animate. And for me, the cherry on top is the fact that it removes the background and you can add a green screen like right here. I think that's the really cool thing about this. Look at, this one came out really good for, from this person and it came out better than mine for sure. Yeah, some of them come out kind of janky, but yeah, test it out yourself. Like always, thank you for watching and I'll talk to you guys later. Peace.